All right, George, thank you for your patience, okay? First things first, the Explorer you picked out, okay? Right color, correct? Correct. Black interior, love it. Mm -hmm. All right, it's a 2022 XLT, and here are all the different things that you said were musts on that vehicle. Now, I can't exactly read them, George, because I'm almost 100 years old. But as you can see, everything that we showed you, everything that you loved on the demonstration drive, everything that Ford put in this vehicle when they built it is listed right here. The only thing that's not listed are the door edge guards. Okay, I showed you those out uh, outside. All right, so this is the correct vehicle, right? That's right. Okay, please don't forget, with this also comes a with a 36,000, 36 month comprehensive warranty. You're not paying for any automobile repairs anytime in the near future, okay? That's for most of the mechanical workings on the vehicle. For your powertrain, you've got coverage for 60,000 miles or five years, all right? All that comes with this vehicle. Here is your opportunity. We're gonna give you multiple choice, okay? I don't know about you, but in school, those were my favorite types of tests. I had a prayer of getting the answer right. You will definitely get the answer right. We've got purchase payments on this side. Down this column are the initial investments, okay? 3,500, 5,000, 7,500, uh, 12,500, okay? The more cash you put down, the fewer finance charges you pay, um, the quicker you build cash value, which, which leads you to be able to trade it sooner if you so desire, and obviously the payment goes down. Up here, we've got term. I'm showing you a short-term payment here, which will save you the most money, get you to the dream payment fastest, which is no payment at all, and it will also allow you to trade sooner. At 72 months, this payment's way more comfortable because it's much lower. It's also more flexible. All the cool stuff I talked about here, George, you can get out here. You just do it in your own time frame. There is no prepayment penalty, okay? And in the middle, 60 months, sort of the best of both worlds. Over here, we've got an alternative way of paying for the vehicle. These are our short-term uh, terms, if you will, leasing. All right, so first things first, in order to narrow the field here, which one of these initial investments would work best for you? 3,500, 5, 7,500, or 12, 5? 5,000. Okay, so we can draw a line through this one, a line through that one, and a line through this one. Now, you've got three traditional purchase payments, 48 months, 72, and 60. 12, 20, 11, 29, 8, 31, and 9, 36, okay? Over here, you've got your short-term lease payments. 24 months would be 9, 79, 36 would be 8, 20. Which of these makes the most sense to you? Choose, uh, choose one of the uh, purchase. The best of both worlds. Okay. So you choose 930 for 60 months, right? Mm -hmm. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the difference between 930 at 36 months and 820 at, at I'm sorry, at 60 months and 820 at 36 months. Okay, I want you to get a full uh, aerial view of what your options are here. If you buy it, you're going to pay it over five years, okay? At the end of 36 months, you have a calculator on you? Multiply 24 times 930. 22,320. Three years from now, you're going to have made three years worth of payments, but you're still going to have $22,000 and some change left to pay, okay? Now, if you chose the $820 a month lease payment, number one, that would be $110 less each month. What's 110 times 36? 3,960. So here's the difference. If you lease it at the end of 36 months, you owe nothing. Okay, 
you've got almost $4,000 in cash in your pocket that you wouldn't have if you purchased it. But you don't have a vehicle either, do you? You're walking, okay? So what do you own at this point? George, at this point, you own a number of options, okay? Option number one, toss. Toss me the keys, okay? Toss me the keys, walk off the lot, take a bus, take an Uber, you're done with Ford, all right? Um, go to Chevy, go to Honda doesn't matter. Now, by the way, I'm going to try to keep you with us, but don't get me, uh, don't, so don't misunderstand. I want you to become our customer forever, but you've got the freedom to toss the keys and go elsewhere. Number two, you come back and you say, Steve, that's the damnedest vehicle I've ever driven. I want to buy it because you've got a guaranteed purchase value right here. You, you don't want to give up this vehicle, so you have the right to buy it. Now, when you buy it, you've also got several different options, because if you buy it, you can keep it, but what if it's worth $5,000 more than the, re, uh, than the guaranteed future value? You could sell it, keep pocket the cash, or you could trade it back to us, okay? and take a new Explorer at a dramatically reduced payment because you've got the trade equity or the cash value to use, all right? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six options right there. And your seventh option, um, let's see, this is 2022, 2025, so you'd be coming back in the fall of 2025. Let's say that the 2026 Explorer wasn't out yet, but you had heard enough about it, you had seen pictures, and you wanted to wait. Well, then you can extend the lease and wait for the 2026 to come. So, we don't care how you do it, George. We want you to be happy with the vehicle. I'm pretty sure we got the right vehicle. So, you can take delivery with a higher payment and a bigger obligation at the end of 36 months, or you can choose to lease it with cash in your pocket and a bunch of options. Which way works best for you? You made it sound so good, I'll take the lease. Okay. Did it really sound good? Yeah, it did. The $110 when you do this right here, it gives you the dollar. Well, yeah, $4,000 in cash. You know the nice thing about leases with Honda? Our